Hi, Ken Mergentime here with Sign and Digital Graphics Magazine, and this is Video Minute. You know, with so much emphasis being placed on sophisticated technologies in the sign industry today, we sometimes forget the skill and the craftsmanship that goes into the heritage of the sign industry. Though never considered an official art form, I think that some of the handmade signs that I've seen over the years are true works of art. Every year, Sign and Digital Graphics holds its annual portfolio contest where we see hundreds of examples of handmade signs and then showcase the best of the best within the pages of our portfolio issue. Years before inkjet printing or cut vinyl technologies came onto the scene, sign lettering was hand painted using special brushes and techniques. Skills like these don't come easy and take years to develop. Etched glass signs began to be commonly used around the turn of the century and a handful of artisans are keeping the old ways alive, creating masterful signage that truly is beautiful to behold. Each piece is unique. Gold leaf techniques may not be as commonplace as they once were, but the effect can be stunning when applied by a master. Patience, an eye for a design, and steady, skillful hands are what make this type of signage stand out. Hand-blown neon signage, ubiquitous in past years, continues to live though increasingly in specialized applications. The depth of knowledge needed to master neon is daunting, but the unique beauty of a well-executed neon project is truly a pleasure to behold. Fortunately, there are still a number of hugely talented sign and graphics practitioners who are keeping the traditions alive and actively passing them on to a new generation. We at Sign and Digital Graphics will continue to recognize and honor this kind of handcrafted workmanship and we respect the foundations on which this industry is built. Well, that's all we have time for today. This is Ken Mergentine with Sign and Digital Graphics, and this is Video Minute.